we want to talk about an industry that's counting very much on a vaccine. And of course, that is movie theaters and movie theater stocks like IMAX have been struggling this year, as you know, with those shares down more than 27 percent. Joining us right now to talk about the future of theaters as cases rise and the Christmas movie season aims to go digital. I want to bring in Richard Gelfond, IMAX CEO. Richard, it's very good to see you. I wish we could see you in person. I just want you to react to that news. And and in terms of how you think about a vaccine and the timeline for people getting back in the theaters, what does it require? So, Andrew, I would say the vaccine came along, the first Pfizer announcement, about the lowest point that I can think of in terms of looking at the future. Europe had just started to close down again. Things were getting worse in North America. Studios were delaying movies. There was very little light. And then all of a sudden, Pfizer and Moderna come out, and they come out with an efficacy rate, which I think means that people will go back to the movies sooner than they would have because they'll feel safe. You know, what? they don't have to wait for herd immunity. It's when they feel safe. So integrating a lot of it, um, most of it we're gathering from watching your experts on CNBC. At the moment, we think that probably March, April is a good time to see North American theaters start to resume um, because it's, it's not that you need everyone vaccinated. Remember the rollout, which we've heard, is after the hospital workers, it's going to be the older people with underlying conditions. And once that happens, I think the core audience of millennials and Gen Z won't worry about getting grandma or grandpa sick. So I think it's going to happen faster than people think. With that said, I don't really think it'll get back to a state of really open and normal. Um, it'll open in pieces until like May, June, July, something like that. And are you imagining that people are going to be masked, masked up and continuing social distancing and all of the, the procedures and steps that many theaters had already tried to implement before shutting down, uh, even once the vaccine is available? Or are you expecting it to feel um, more normal, if you will? Well, I can give you a context in Asia where the cases are way down, particularly China, Korea and um, Japan, where we have a very large presence it's really back to normal. It's kind of incredible. Um, people aren't wearing masks, not only at theaters, but almost nowhere in China. And when you go to a theater there, we're setting all kinds of records um, where people feel safe and they really are safe. Um, they're going back as if um, this was a chapter that's pretty much closed. I think North America is going to be a little bit more tricky because it lasted longer and the caseload was higher. So I think there'll be a transition period where even people with vaccines likely wear masks just to make the people around them feel safe. Um, but again, my biggest surprise has been right. in other territories how quickly it's gone back to normal once the case R count Richard, is low. Enough. Richard Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.